I have to make sure that by your behaviors and what you say and your follow through and what you do, that you actually do what you say you're going to do. You know, it, you know, I, you know this sounds a lot like kind of business coaching. Is that kind of what you do? Yeah, yes, it is. It, it absolutely is. Randall and I do do business coaching. And, and it's really, you know, and, and business coaching, I've always fought that business coaching because I believe it's life coaching also. You know, our, what, what, what people do in their personal lives, does that transcend to their business life? What people do in their business life, does that transcend to their personal life? I, you know, I think, I think it all comes around that, that the way you act in your personal life is the way you're going to act in your business life. And how do you work with somebody that becomes a client of yours? Well, you know, we start out with an interview first. And, and, and it's interview sheets that, that we want them to fill out. That, and, and that guides us to see how invested are they in, in, in doing something in their life. It's a four or five page sheet and it asks questions. And, and there are no wrong or right answers, but it requires thinking. And it requires to get it done in a timely manner. It requires to get it back to us within 24 hours so we can look at it. People reveal themselves over time. And that's one of the first revelations. Do we get it in time? Or do we get it at a meeting? Or are there excuses of why we haven't gotten it? Yeah. You, uh, you see people in business all the time that seem like they're never able to complete anything. You know, I've got a client right now that I work with uh, who has got a, a good business, but he'll commit to having something to me. And, you know, a week will go by, two weeks will go by, three weeks will go by, and there is always something, well, you know, I had to work today because, you know, I was, you know we had this big project and somebody screwed something up. You know, is that a symptom of somebody that has a, a business coaching problem? Yeah, it, um, yeah, you know, a time management problem, too. Um, yeah. Business coaching, mm -hmm. time management. Mm -hmm. You know, when I when I talk to people and I ask them, you know, so what'd you do yesterday? You know, is it on paper? Did you keep a list of exactly what you did? Do you know what you're going to do tomorrow when you go to bed? When you go to bed, you should have your list already done. You should have the names of the people you're going to meet, the appointments, or the people you're going to call, their phone numbers. You should keep a log. Time management is strictly is very important, and you know we all have lives other than business, and we all have to do the important things in our lives for us to succeed. One of the important things for me are exercise. I think to be good in business is you need to exercise. You need to physically exercise, and you need to mentally exercise. You mean that supine position, I assume, on the couch, <laughs> with, with a scotch that I lift regularly, regularly. Is, I, is, I, is I going to qualify? <laughs> well, you know, you know we, 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 all have, we all have our vices, and for me, it's exercise. Uh, and and I, think, I think it's important because it's, it's, it's all about the whole, not just about little bits and pieces of our lives that make us strong, unique, and can move forward. Now, now you, you mentioned that uh, you, know, you, have, you, you know someone that had a show up in New York uh, that's had Richard Branson and a bunch of other people. And how many of those people have coaches? Oh, I bet they all do. Yeah. I bet they all do. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I, know because, that, I know the president of Google. Though. Yeah, absolutely. Because, again, you know, we see things one way. We really do. And if you do not have an open mind to, to look outside of your self-imposed parameters, outside of your box, you know, you'll get stuck. And, and what happens with a lot of business owners is they don't look two steps ahead. They're always looking right now. And they're not looking two steps ahead. And, you know, the, at times in life, the economy is great. Things are flying great. The money is coming in. And all of a sudden, it stops and they're not prepared for when it's going to stop. What role, is, what role do you think pride has in the holding a business owner back from seeking help? You know, that, that's an interesting question. Pride. That's an interesting question. Is it pride, you know, like a machismo um, factor, as you're talking about? And, and you know, I, I, don't, I don't necessarily agree with the pride. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think it's more of being closed-minded to the fact that there are other opportunities and options that are available and not looking outside of that. You may call it pride.